Hi, this is the first probe that I fixed for you. This is actually the one with the non-standard cable. You can see it's a thinner black cable. You might like it even better. Hopefully it lasts twice as long. Don't know for certain, but uh, I'm going to show you how to set this gauge up. This is your gauge out of the case. So since I'm doing it for the first time and every probe has a different offset, I want to start out by doing a star 9191 to clear out the memory. Powers off on its own, then you power back up. And now, since every probe has a different offset, the next thing you have to do is tune out the offset for the probe. So you're going to want to do a star 111 and then hit, I hope that's readable, enter. And now it's tuning out the offset for this individual probe. Once we do that, we power back up, wait for the gauge to go through its sequence logic. and we're going to hit and we're going to cal out the base so I'm going to hit the button called cal and so now it's waiting for me to place the probe down on the base placed on the base once placed on the base I'm to, going to hit zero units and that way it'll be zeroed out to the base and that way each subsequent measurement comes out zero okay so then I'm going to hold the probe up above the base again and I'll grab my first shim which in this case will be a 0.2 not much room for that but okay so now we hit star cal and now it's looking for the first calibration shim C1 so I'll place it down on the base and I'll enter the value of the shim which is point two enter so now you can see it's asking for the second calibration shim c2 and right now the data that's from off in the netherlands it's waiting for that second shim that has nothing to do with the measurement of the first so now we put on the second shim this one is point this one is one mil so enter one enter and now we've calibrated to a point two and a one mil shim and you can see it's bouncing a little bit but Let's see what subsequent measurements look like. One. 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 Nine point nine nine. <laughs> I wasn't even looking, so maybe it had varied. But it's pretty repeatable. Fixed string definitely helps because that means the probe is always coming down in the same plane against the shim that you're measuring. And we'll go back to the base. And this is your gauge and your shit, your um, probe that I'm using, 233S1. I just have it out of the case so you could see it a little better because I know your case is kind of dirty. And hope that helps a lot. And uh, thanks a lot. Bye.